Hi, I'm looking for a fast, long-lasting, future-proof hard drive for my operating system, and I'd like to know if I should go with an SSD or a 10,000 RPM or even 15,000 RPM drive. Thanks. Tim from Washington State. Tim, there is no such thing as future-proof on a computer, mm. so that's silly. But there are some good planning. Yeah. And well, you and can plan right, the, for the next couple of years. The $225 80 gigabyte SSD drive that is like the creme de la creme of performance right now was like 500 bucks six months ago. Well, yeah, I if, mean. If not more than that. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, Velociraptors were insanely expensive to you. And they're, you know, they're not particularly cheap. A terabyte hard drives, 90 bucks now. Two terabyte hard drives, under 200 bucks right now. I know, yeah. I mean, I, I, I've been looking to buy like a larger external hard drive right. for example example and, and extra hard drives for my for my gaming machine and the prices now compared to when I was even first looking at building the gaming machine are like right. yeah so but just, just let go of future proof you, you know I mean you know what's future a year two years three to five years in three years your gaming machine yeah. that you have now is going to be pig slow and won't have the graphics performance you need to run the new game and SSD is still a little bit iffy like right. I mean it's it's working for a lot of people I it's know that you adopter. and Roger right you and Roger have had a lot of success but I've heard of a lot of people having drive failures for from, from early SSDs. I'm gonna, That's I'm, one thing to think about. Yeah, definitely like run Windows 7, enable the trim command, make sure you buy a, a drive that'll work with the trim command because it basically deals with some of the performance degradation issues that, that can happen with the solid state disk drive. And look, but this fast. doesn't matter which hard drive you buy, whether you go with a 10,000 RPM Velociraptor or whatever it is, if you're, if you're buying one of these fast high-end drives, whether it's SSD or rotating media, have an image made of that drive so that if it hurls on you, and there's a good chance that it will if, if, if you haven't, you know, it, it, it can happen. It happens. It happens to be back up your data and have an image so you can zap that thing and get it right back up. Man, SSDs are it right now in terms of performance. They're smoking fast. They run really cool. I mean, you they can, you can rattle them around a little bit without having to worry about it too your much. Boot time boot is going to be like, like nothing. Bam. Boot um, it. But. They are expensive. They are expensive gigabytes. now, but I think that you know this year they're going to start dropping even more than we've seen in the past. They're going to become par for course pretty right. soon. Uh, Velociraptor, if you want to get really ridiculous, you can get a pair of Velociraptors running in a RAID 0 configuration, which offers no like you know backup, but it will offer super fast performance. But the truth is you basically need ridiculous read performance if you're talking about your operating system. So are drive. we saying that he should skip the SSD for now okay. and wait? If you're, you know what I mean, if, if you've got the money to pay $225 for an 80 gigabyte hard drive to just you know run your operating system in a couple app applications, yes, absolutely. Buy the SSD drive. If not, go with a Raptor. Go with a Velociraptor. Okay. You know, it's it is what it is.